It's feminism. When used regularly, feminism has been known to produce amazing results, such as a woman's right to vote, a woman's right to her own body, a woman's right to become a kick-ass athlete, the Violence Against Women Act, the Lily Ledbetter Fair Pay Restoration Act, and more. Feminism is meant to be used on a daily basis and works best when shared. But what if I don't need feminism? Trust me, girl, you do. <sighs> the brain when there's like an electrical impulse to the brain. What about a heartbeat? No. I think when the heartbeat sends the electrical impulse to the, the brain. The heartbeat is not life. Not in my opinion. What? The, as long as it's still a fetus. But when does it stop being a fetus? When it's born. When does life begin? It begins when a woman decides She's gonna go for it, because her life is on the line doing it. What about a heartbeat? If the woman wasn't there, the pregnancy wouldn't be there. And if the woman's gone, you don't got no pregnancy, right? And without the man, you wouldn't have a pregnancy either. I know, you guys should limit your uh, sperm production. Hi, Hello. okay, um, my name is Tanae. I'm the current president of our NAACP chapter. Great. And so I just have a few questions. During your entire presentation, I noticed that you failed to mention that feminism is the belief that men and women are equal. So do you not think this? And then also, I noticed when you were talking about America's values and about how great America is, yep. you failed to mention that our nation was built on the power of white men without the acknowledgement of black people, the Indians, women at least. So do you not think that men and women are equal? Do you not acknowledge the problems that we have here in America that does, in fact, not make America great? All right. Um, no, no, no. Let's be responsible. I mean, let's be not triggered. I understand be, no, no, how to no, 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 handle no, no. myself, a, unlike some Trump guys, supporters. Guys, guys, guys. It was, a, so. it was a perfectly reasonable, respectful question. Let's be respectful. Thank you. Um, on the first half of your question, women don't agree with you. Uh, fewer than one in five women in America describes themselves as a feminist, even mm. though over 85% of them believe in inequality between the sexes. Why? Because they know that feminism has become something different now. They know that the feminism you're talking about, it's very convenient, isn't it, to sort of treat men like shit, and then when people say, I'm not a feminist, say, oh, but feminism's out of quality. That's not what feminism has become. It's not what feminism is anymore. Feminism is a mean, vindictive, spiteful, nasty, man-hating philosophy. So that why has very would you Well, let me finish, because I let you finish, okay? okay. Um, that has very little to do with the equality of the sexes and a lot to do with man-hating. And the way that you know that is women are abandoning it in their millions. Women don't want feminism anymore. They have rejected your version completely. They don't agree with you. In the UK, the numbers are even worse. Just 7% of women in the UK describe themselves as feminist, despite the fact that 92% of women, in, Amer uh, of women in, in the UK believe in equality of the sexes. It's very clear what's happening. They don't believe that those two things mean the same, because if they did, they'd give the pollsters the same answer to, the, to the, both those questions. Women know that feminists say one thing and do another. Women know that the primary purpose of feminism these days isn't to promote equality, it is to beat down on men. So you've lost, you know, you have a big PR problem on your hands. And when you come up and say, you know, well, how dare you not mention that it's actually just about quality of the sexes. Don't you believe in equality of the sexes? I very clearly said in my speech for multiple times that I do and that I love women, that I care about them. But, um, you know, this sleight of hand that feminists play when they're perfectly happy to treat men like shit and, and, and spread these conspiracy theories about the patriarchy, these lies about the wage gap, lies about campus rape culture, and then turn around and play the victim and play innocent and say, feminism's just about equality. Give me a break. Hi, we're here to tell you about some gender pronoun do's and don'ts. Don't ignore the mistake you make. All right, what can I get you today, sir? Ha! 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 I don't even get to order. Do apologize for the mistake and move on. All right, what can I get you today, sir? Oh, so sorry about that. No worries. Uh, can I get a refill on my decaf? Ah, uh, yeah, definitely. Thanks. Right up. Do 
practice in private. Alex is my friend. They like sports. I love playing video games with them. We even went to high school together. It may seem silly to you, but if unlearning a friend's former pronoun is tricky for you, practice makes perfect. If someone corrects you, recognize your mistake and apologize. Treat them with respect and ask them what they prefer to be called. Seek out knowledge. Just because you had an awkward situation doesn't mean it's the end of the world. Find resources at places like Planned Parenthood so you can be better informed. I decided to make a little bit of a funny skit video today of what it's like to be non-binary. So, uh, are you a girl or a boy? Oh, uh, I'm neither. Uh, so are you a girl or a boy? Uh, what do you have in your pants? Oh, uh, you mean this? But... I meant, um... Okay. What were you born as? Um, actually, that's kind of an offensive question. Okay, okay, I, I see where you're coming from, but what were you born as? <sighs> so like, which bathroom do you use? I usually just use uh, gender neutral bathrooms or I just use a bathroom at my house. I don't usually use um, bathrooms when I go out in public often. But what if you can't? Like, what if you can't wait? Then what do you do? Then where do you go? Basically, I'm trying to ask you what genitalia you have. Again. <sighs> just like in a different way. because I'm very interested in what you got in your pants. Yeah, so uh, I was talking to my boyfriend and, oh, so you're straight? No. Um, and I was talking to my girlfriend and she said, wait, so you're gay now? Oh my gosh, you're such a cute little girl. Hey, Jessica, isn't she so cute? <laughs> um. Actually, I'm a, uh, I'm not a girl. Oh, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry, sir. Uh, I'm a, uh, <laughs> I'm not a boy either. I'm non-binary. Uh, I personally, I'm a gender, which means that I don't feel like I have a gender. Okay, that doesn't exist. You're just making that up because you, you just want attention and uh, that's not a real thing. You're either a boy or a girl. There's only two genders and it's based off your sex. So uh, you're just lying to yourself. You just want to be a special snowflake. Yeah, you're either a boy or a girl. Non-binary is basically a gender identity in which the person doesn't feel like a girl or a boy. Specifically 100% a girl or specifically 100% a boy. So it can be pretty much any other thing under the sun. We're calling that out and standing up to that crime as part of building a movement for revolution to put an end to the system that causes that. And we're here in Cleveland because they're nominating a fascist like Trump for the president of the United States. And he's a perfect representative of everything ugly about this country throughout its entire history. And by the way, Hillary Clinton is no better or no worse. And we're here to say that those are not our only two choices. We can actually get to a whole different world from making a revolution. And we have a leader that represents that, Bob Avakian, someone people need to know about. They go to revcom.us. And uh, this is the right here is uh, power, uh, what is my name is Rainbow, Rainbow Dash, Dash, and I'm here. Just, I'm here to stop all the hate against the minorities and the poor, and make it better for all of ourselves. Bust up war! Bust up racism! Bust up war! Bust up Islamophobia! Bust up war! Bust up the Pentagon! Bust up the Navy! Bust up the Army!
anti-choice activists in here in Ohio that we will not be turned back, that we will protect our access to abortion and the right to choose. So fuck you. I don't give I a fuck. Don't speak that well, if you did, I, I wouldn't give a fuck. I actually said something like that, so you're wrong. Go ahead, say it. It's funny. No, I, I didn't say that though, and you said I did. So. No, I'm saying that if you probably would be okay with it. What did you say though? What did you say? It doesn't fucking matter. It actually. Language matters. policing, fascists. I don't give a fuck about your language, language PC police? SJW language bullshit. Police. I don't give a fuck about your language policing horse shit. That's ageist. That's an ageist microaggression. I'm triggered. I need a safe space. Your white ass is triggered. Funny. All right. That's oh, racist. What the fuck? Yeah. That is racism. What the fuck's wrong with you? So yeah, I'm pro-choice, but I hate SJWs and feminists. You're fucking ridiculous. Harassment that actually is original. I kind of have this moment of like, oh, cool, you tried. Right? It's just all the same, right? So. You know, I, I, it was very similar to a lot of the other women that I've seen online get harassed, right? Like, we kind of buckle down and we're just, we expect it, which is such a horrible place to be. And then when I launched a Kickstarter to fund a series of videos that would look at women in video games is when my life completely changed. And I, I had a massive cyber mob come after me and they have still been after me for the last five years. And I think intersectionality is a really important point here because the way that women of color and the way that trans women and the way women with disabilities get attacked online is different and it's compounded by all of these different intersections. Yeah, and so I think it's, it's a conversation that needs to keep happening, right? If you Google my name on YouTube, you get shitheads like this dude who are making these dumbass videos that just say the same shit over and over again. I need to give you attention because you're a garbage human. Whatever, dude. Um, but it's, you know, like the fact that these dudes are making endless videos that just go after every feminist over and over and over again, I think is 
is a part of the issue of why we have to have these conversations. We don't just get to be online. We don't just get to participate like everyone else. This is weird because my whole message is just be yourself, but apparently like, it's not safe for everyone to do that all the time. So I think probably my advice would be to stay safe first and then be yourself. <laughs> I have a serious question for everybody. everybody up there. Why do you guys act like only women face harassment online? I don't think anyone's. I don't think constantly feed the trolls. And look, the majority of the people here are like your trolls because they like to see you freak out about it, and that's exactly what you guys are doing. You're feeding I mean, the even trolls. your language, like freak and out about, like no. See, you're, you're, you're just. If you talk about one community facing harassment, 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 that's not to say that all, no other communities face harassment. You're, see, you're harassing me right now. When I'm Can we please remove this question of the night? Now look. Next question, 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 question. Next question, please. <laughs> okay. Listen up. They're still not equal pay for equal work anywhere in the world. And it seems most women are not even angry about it. But we should be. So let's set a new goal. From now on, equal pay is no longer enough. Because women need more. Our haircuts are more expensive. Our underwear is ridiculously more expensive. It's simply more expensive to be a woman than to be a man. Should we seriously get paid less than someone who applies body lotion to his face? He doesn't need a new outfit for every new occasion. He doesn't even know that the shoes make the outfit. Oh, the joy of choosing the right shoe. Fashion is expressing yourself. And what every stylish woman is expressing is that equal pay is not enough. Equal pay is not enough.